right, hey, so I'm gonna do a little how-to on how I source new clients. Um, find someone that I'm interested in, contact them, and um, yeah, so here we go. So I go to this nonprofit explorer, um, and all nonprofit information is public, so you can see it, and it's pretty cool. Um, so I go to nonprofit explorer, and I type in um, an industry that I'm interested in. Uh, I asked Chase what industry I should do, and he said ice cream, he likes ice cream. So um, we'll do ice cream. I don't know if there are any nonprofits. There are, there are. So you uh, do ice cream and you can see their recent annual revenue. So there's one here, International Ice Cream Association that made $1.1 million in 2017, 2018. Um, another one down here, Great Lakes Ice Cream and Fast Food Association made $116,000. Um, so there, there's a couple others. We'll look at, uh, uh, let's see. International Association of Ice Cream Vendors. Um, 2018 made $372,000 there in Baltimore, Maryland. Click on them and um, you can look at their IRS filing from 2018. And so I look at this, this just tells me that they probably haven't filed their 2019 taxes yet. Um, and I scroll down and I see uh, one, their website. So IAICDV.org. And I can go to that. I think that's what it was. There it is, International Association of Ice Cream Distributors and Vendors. I can look at their website and I um, just know in our services and um, what we do, I think, can we make it better? Um, I think so. Also, the website is powered by member clicks down here in the footer, so I'm able to look at that and see who is member clicks and I can search into who their current website um, hosting company is or um, whoever designed it. Um, so you go down here and I can find their, in their tax filing with nonprofits, you can find their board of directors. Um, so it says here, Chris Long is um, their director and Michael Barron is their director. Pedro Diaz, um, they, so they have all these directors, right? And so I'm not, um, I'm not saying anything publicly here that's not already public. And um, so anyways, so you find one of these vendors on here, Michael Barron Jr. Michael. Um, you can reach out to him on LinkedIn if you can find him on LinkedIn. Um, another thing that I like to do is I go over here and I copy their website address. I'll go into uh, into Facebook and I'll search for a page. This is their page. On Facebook, you can go to their page transparency and you can see um, so their ads, you can go to their ads library. Something, another service that we offer is we offer um, social media advertising. And I see that there are no ads uh, that they've been running. So they haven't been running ads on Facebook. Another thing I like to do is go to semrush.com and type in their um, address. So this, is a, uh, this is a paid tool that we use here at The Holler. And I see that they have 137 backlinks. They're doing zero display advertising. You can see their organic traffic. So January 2014, they had 318 people come to their website. Um, March, so most recently they had 127 people all last month. Um, so that's not great. Uh, so it looks like they make good money, but they don't have a great website presence or um, any paid traffic. And they're just relying on um, backlinks and organic traffic. And so after I find them on LinkedIn, I would reach out to them and talk to them about who I am, build a relationship and rapport. And then, um, yeah, that's how I source new clients. So awesome. That's for nonprofits. For profits, it's all another process, but maybe later. See ya.